Hello, 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 five people. Hello, pirate. How are you? I missed your stream last night, and then it was gone. Hello, Penelope. I bet these ghosts Midwest Mary. Mary, my God, you sweet thing. Run around high. Eric, what are you wearing? I just want to know. Making sure y'all can hear me. Out on the balcony, I guess it's the building, you know. <clears throat> so I can't uh, stream from outside. Damn it. We see you. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Okay, M Mary. Yeah, send me a link because your videos are always a biggie. You know I love them. My vacation's going very well. Um, yesterday, my lovely husband rented one of those, um, you know, the umbrellas and the chairs they uh, lifeguards put out. And we stayed out there from like 10 to 4. It was really nice. Um, just, and our, my kids now are 13 and 16. So they don't need to be, uh, oh, you want to see the bit? I have to turn it on and turn it around, but I will. Um, you know, they don't need close supervision. They're like, plus my other, my two, oh, somebody going live. Um, my two older daughters are here, you know, to supervise. And our friend, um, we have a friend that we meet, we, we always come the last 10 days in July. Well, she always comes the last 10 days in July. We kept noticing that like she was, and so now we're like family friends. And, you know, she's here with her grandchildren. It's just a nice time. Um, but, Mary, I'm very sorry. Hey, Belle, I'm very sorry about um, Woody Widow. See, I didn't know she had come back. I thought she had learned her lesson and, you know, just started filming dying patients for um, shits and giggles. And so I went back and I watched that because everybody was talking about it on Twitter. And uh, quite frankly, fuck that bitch. She's crazy. She's crazy. Um, and know that you have my support a thousand percent. And I'm you know, pretty sure you probably have uh, you know, a lot of other people's support. So we won't let, we won't let that go un, unpunished. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Uh, so I listened to some of hers because people were clipping it around. Yeah, running around. I thought she was dead, but she lied. That's Jane. Um, I watched some of that because people had put the clips up. And, um, I went back and watched I, as much as I could, quite frankly, because she just, her voice makes me uh go into dry heaves so mary you you got us behind you we're behind you we're in front of you we're beside you um you know when you come in this community uh you know you, you we're your tribe <laughs> we're your tribe now um, and it's nothing we wouldn't do for any, I mean, there's a lot of people that rallied around me, rallied around Eric, rallied around Pirate, rallied around, rallied around Bell. It's just what we did. And, you know, yeah, no different. Um, a Moni, a Lavender. So then my vacation's going wonderful, Shauna. Thank you. Hey, JS. Hello, hello. Um, well, ain't no thinking, Eric. No, no, Eric, because you know when right is right, wrong is wrong. That's the way we do things around here. Right is right, wrong is wrong. If you are wrong, you know, we will, you won't hear shit from us. But if you are right, we will. Hey, Quinny, we will defend you to the gates of hell. So that's that. So Whitney can do whatever she wants. She needs a shtick, you know. It is going great, Quinny. Thank you. It's a, it's so hot. 
I haven't been out to the pool yet, but we're going. Still having my coffee. Even though I woke up at like nine or quarter quarter to nine, you know, it takes me a minute to make my coffee. I have to figure it out. <laughs> yeah, there you go. We'll fuck that bitch up. We'll fuck her up. Hey, Susan. So then I caught a little bit of Unitonka Tinka Talk. Little, um, uh, I wish all of y'all were here, Deborah. I wish y'all were all here. <laughs> that was five o'clock in the morning my day oh god that lasted like 30 minutes and then i think i passed out and woke up an hour away from the beach so it was it was a short ride for me um so i caught some of yukatinkies um it was yukatinky um clearing up some stuff and i you know as far as the not being able to be around children. Hey, Cat Angel. Um, I don't know nothing about that. About her not being able to be around children. I don't know enough about that to comment on it. Even though I just guess I did comment on it. Just saying that I don't know what none of that's about. Um, then I heard that it was her girlfriend that, that didn't have cat. I, yeah, I don't know. That's her mess to mop up. Um. And then she started in on copper. And, you know, a lot of people, or a few people, I ain't going to say a lot of people, a few people have talked shit about copper and whatever. But I can tell you, she's never been anything but kind to me. And I watched Unit Tink Tonk go after her and. You know, here's what here's what Tinky Tutu does. Uh, she addressed. I'm not going to address you, and then she addresses you for thirty effing minutes. You know, you just get out of my chat. I'm not, and then fights with the person. That's what she's done from the beginning. Uh, and then you don't know what. Then the whatever point she was going to make, which I've never heard her make one. Yes, she does, pirate. Yes, she does. And she really cares about people. And things have been said about her. And um, I can only tell you this. She has been never been anything but kind to me. And I like her a lot. And the way she was talking to Copper, I wanted to reach through and bang her head against her steering wheel. But, you know, um, but yeah, Yuna Tink Tink does that. She's like, okay, I'm not going to address you. Okay, stop it. And then for 30 minutes goes on and on and on. So, and then I think she would, see here, you know, and I'm trying to do this without being racial because I'm not, don't mean it like this, but she, throw, she, uh, she, she barrels in on a, on a, a live, like she is friggin' you know, some kind of gangster. And then she gets a, you know, through chat, they beat her ass. But she still got that attitude. Bitch, we don't care where you been. And she said, I know I ain't been around. We don't care where you been. We didn't want you to come back. Hey, Stewie, we don't want you to come back. Go back where you were. Sit on your bed, pick your nose, do what you do. I don't know. So you know, tink, tink. Get over yourself. We really thought you got, hey, Irish. Um, yes, yeah, she really is, Irish. I ain't putting up with that. I ain't putting up with that. Um, but I'm blasted. I'm blocked in um, Yankee Tutu's uh, chat. So I'm trying to cuss her out, and I can't do it. So there's that. And I don't know what else the bitch said because I had shit to do. You know. Uh, I can't listen to her either. I really thought that bitch was gone. Don't lie. We was waiting for her. <laughs> oh, well, Stewie, now look. You're not wrong. Stewie's right. 
I was kind of on the lookout, but I'm not sub to her, right? So, um, and I refused to sub to her. Again, I refused. But Stewie, you, I, I, I was on the lookout. Stewie knows us all so well. Um, yeah, I was on the lookout. I was hoping she'd do something stupid. Because I will go over to uh, B Shannon 6812 T-O-O, and get in there. No doubt. I would do that. Um, so let's see the comeback of the, the three vipers, which is Yankee Tutu. Hey, hello, Philly girl. You're live last week. Oh, well, thank you, Philly. Thank you. Take a seat. Have a lounge. Hey, Kaylee. Have a lounge about. Come on in, get yourself a drink. Um, all right, so, you know, a couple of weeks ago, I, it was, I was talking about Witty, or I was going to say Witty, Witty Weirdo. That's from somebody. I can't remember which one of y'all coined that, but Witty Weirdo, Tinky Yanya, and then Kim Fisher were the three that needed to be exiled, in my opinion. Because back when, you know, last Sunday, when um, Spirit Looker, or Monday, Spirit Looker was going on and 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 on about me, Spirit Looker. Kim came into like the Twitter feeds. It was like, I think Shannon is perpetrating this, bitch. Do not try to elicit a, a response. Yeah, well, Sam, too. Sam always got to go. Uh, Kim Fisher was trying to elicit a response. Drama Kiki! Um, as usual, trying to, you know, that's another one need to go and stay gone. They all need to go make a new community called Dumb Bitches. Dumb Bitch Community. Um, Telfer, Telfer, Telfer. Telfer, you just need to look. Telfer, your day consists of eating cold bologna with the red string around it. You just eat that too. Government cheese and cheese puffs out of a big, big, big plastic tub. That is your life. Live your life. Yes, sis. We all try to be in the night. Hey, Cindy Lopez. I hope you're doing well, my love. Um, I really do. I just, I checked that space bar when all I did was ask what was wrong. She was, <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Embry. Let's add Embry to the list. Ah. Uh, Embry, you dumb twat. If a savage, if Embry, if the only people who will take you into their live streams is Tammy Spirit Lucker, who doesn't even see your dumb ass, and Sam Baloney Eaton Telfer, it is time to log off, change your fucking name, and find a new community. We all know you have about 17 names. Um, if not more, because that is what your life consists of, making names on YouTube and thumbing down everybody's shit and, you know, bitch, Embry, seriously. You need to go inpatient for life. Carlos, if I don't unblock all my accounts, I'll continue. Oh, okay. If you don't, um, I don't have any of your accounts, Carlos. I, I don't. I don't believe that I block Carlos's, but maybe my mods do. I don't know. I have to go check Carlos and set. Well, I, let's just call you Inception because you're all Carlos. Two minutes. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's okay. It's a Saturday. It's a Saturday. Savage. It'd be uh, everybody's lazy on a Saturday. Um, I went live for the first time the other night. I don't know how. Keep it up. It is hard. 
And sometimes I don't, Kaylee. Sometimes I'm just on a rant and I don't know. I don't even see Chad. La Poof. La Poof is a warrior, people. Hey, bittersweet. La Poof is a effing warrior. <laughs> I see her on Twitter and shit going after the dummies and the assholes and the bitches. Sorry to be off topic, but. Hold on. Ooh, ooh, I'm not missing you. I need to know that your kids are... Of course. Of course. Oh. Hey, Rainbow. Um, pirate called me at 930. Uh, the, the babies are having fun. The, 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 the grandbabies. The big babies are having fun. Everybody's having fun. I love you, LaPoof. I'm telling you. you If, if LaPoof is on your side, you're good. Because she will... Uh, guns are blazing go after people. <laughs> I love it. I just love it. Um, and I see everything you do. Oh, here's what I want to know. Who went after Ricky? Mama Ricky. Over something that he did. I don't know. I was seeing that on um seeing that on Twitter too. And look, me and Ricky don't I, me and Ricky, like I was saying outside before, I probably have him blocked. And uh, because, you know, his undying, um, uh, what do you, we'll we'll just call it dedication, dedication, dedication to uh, Katie gets on my last nerves. Um, I just can't take it. Oh, he's banned from Twitter for life. Who did that? Well. Okay, let's talk. I did not know that. ATX came after Ricky. Well, shouldn't ATX be worried about sucking Sean's dick? Excuse my language. Oops. Now, we all know this. And I don't. I hate to bring it up, but I'm gonna. When that ignorant shit happened with Eric. And ignorant is the only way to put it. Uh, that he liked someone who liked something. Da, 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 da. Hey, OG YouTuber. Um, and we all should have learned our lesson then. That liking something or whatever uh, doesn't define you. And if it does define you, guess what? Ain't nobody's business. If you didn't like it, fucking block them. But I'll always take up for Ricky. Honestly, even though I don't care for his um, devotion to a certain person, um, it doesn't make him any less of a nice person. And Katie is an entire homophobe and transphobe. And Ricky can be there ready for her. Thank you, Shauna. Thank you, Shauna. And he was also, and I don't mean talk shit on Ricky, he was also over in Tammy's spirit like a chat and she hates the lgtb community because king james bob tells her to and he was over there supporting her this is why i don't fuck with him because he's over there supporting her because well if y'all notice tammy spirit like when she is talking about king james bob or herself 14 people max in her chat when she's running her ass about me ricky's here when he's running about about me, she's got 50, uh, 80 people. So I didn't understand that. And I've got him blocked. But Ricky, I'm sorry. And I will go after. I will uh, defend you to the gates of hell. Make better decisions. <laughs> you fucking back. <laughs> Make better decisions. You went over, I saw you over at Tammy Spirit Finder's chat the other day. Just you're like, And I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? But I say that a lot. And I'd have to go now and go and unblock him. And I'd have to go find it. And I ain't doing it. So I ain't doing it. Only because I'm lazy right now. I will undo it when I get off here. I'll watch it for a few minutes. Yeah. Oh, bittersweet. Go watch the ones about me. Because she said that. All right. She was saying that. You know, when when I this is the last one, me and my daughter skipped through the very last one that said wartime. And she was saying that my 16 year old son should go to work because 
to help my husband who was working his work, working like a dog. Um, no, because your 19 year old son don't go to work because you're working like a dog. Um, you know, but she doesn't, I mean, her husband's never worked, so it's really, um, and then she said that my daughter quit school and crawled home. My daughter's 24 years old. She quit school and crawled home. My daughter's been all over the goddamn country because that's what she can do. She make money. Um, oh, Mallory, my Mallory. I don't even know what's good. I looked and I had a, I had a link. I had a link sent to me by from Mallory. Uh, yes, um, and, and, and I don't know what time it was. Early evening, and I didn't see it till we got back to the room, and I didn't know what it was about, so I didn't take it. I didn't know if it was to Tucker's or she wasn't live, so it wasn't to hers. I don't know where it was, but Mama Ricky, look, whatever. And I'm let me see if I can do it on my phone, Ricky. Hold on, darling. You know I love you, all right? Even though we don't see eye to eye on a lot of things. And like everyone else in this community that has been here forever and are a part of it and who do this, uh, the people who do this community no harm don't deserve this shit. And if, Yuri! And if, I mean, ATX really needs to worry about sucking Sean's balls and stay off yours, Ricky. Um, and y'all know what? Now, if you had the first official photo as a couple, would you have Anna? Hey, if you had your first official photo as a couple, and I'm using air quotes, um, would you have picked that one that looked like he was putting her in a headlock? And his face all fucked up. I wouldn't have used that as my first official. Not me. Sorry. You must. You must not like your home. <laughs> That's right, Bell. I don't, I'm running from an unhappy situation. That's why I dragged every fucking member of my family with me. Uh huh. That's what we do. If you have problems at home, drag every. Everyone with you to, to <laughs> on vacation. I love it. I sat under that thing though, like yesterday. Me and Chris sat under that umbrella, watched the ocean for oh god, I don't know how many hours. And it was absolutely heaven sent. All right, Ricky, hold on, baby. I'm trying to find. I'm I'm trying to unblock you on my phone. You might hear some curse words in a minute because I do not know how to do this. Community. Community. Give me, give me some. Oh, uh, that's not it. Channel. Mm, that's not it. Hold on, baby boy. Videos. Hold on. I've done this before. Ricky, I might have to watch. I'm sorry I can't block you. <laughs> I'm sorry I can't unblock you, Ricky. I don't know how to do it on my phone. I'm not computer and or phone literate, and Pirate can attest to this. Settings. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on, Ricky. I got you, baby. Hold on, hold on. All right. Ricky. I have unblocked you on my phone. I, you should type in here and see if you pop up. I don't know how long it takes to go. There you go, Ricky. There he is. <laughs> I can see you now. I did it on my phone. I'm very happy. I'm very, very happy.
all who says this is about La Poop, you need to stop it. I am trying to be sexy. Stop it. Nights of Notch. Yes, we've all accidentally farted in the car. I might do it today. So, talking about she's having a baby knowing she. Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. What pirate? What pirate? Who having a baby? Please don't tell me ATX is having a baby. They gonna name it Suboxin? I can't. Now, Ricky, what happened? They're gonna get married and have a baby. Well, she has to get divorced and so does he. Since ATX has gone public with Katie, where does that leave Sam? It leaves Sam eating bologna and cheese balls in her house. Where she's always been. I'm not surprised ATX is on something. I mean, she didn't. I mean, didn't her husband have to stay in a hotel after the. Yes! Oh, in vitro. He has got three. Hey, Shannon Marie. He has three grown children and a grandchild, which I realize is different for men and women. I have restarted my life several times. I have a 33-year-old daughter. I've got a 24-year-old daughter. I have a 16-year-old son and a 13-year-old daughter. I have restarted my shit a lot. I don't, I mean, while it keeps you young, it um, it's exhausting. I have been, Shannon, Women. I was banned from Twitter for being homophobic and threatening to harm a woman. ATX is not a woman. Is that the one you were threatening? Well, Ricky, I mean, I asked you before. One, Ricky, number number one in my, what I want to say is, I hope you are doing well. Um, I listened to your post on Twitter where you were talking about surgeries and whatnot look at alec baldwin and his well that's true susan and ricky i only ever wish you well uh mentally physically spiritually i hope that you are on the mend and doing well and um Hasn't it? If it rainbow, my kids are at the point where they do their own thing. Yes, I don't want to go back in time and change. Rainbow, that is the thing. A hundred percent. Once you get them up that to that thing, it is hard to go back. Now, don't get me wrong. I've done it three times. I mean, four, but I've done it quite a few times. And hey, PJ gone. I'm sorry I was giggling. Uh, please. <laughs> uh, Susan is right. Sean ain't no damn Alec Baldwin. Because uh, well, what is he going to do? Stop paying the first wife? What is it? $2,000 a month? And then start? I don't I don't know how this is all going to work out. Uh, I don't. Uh, well, now I saw on Twitter where he said he was a Texas resident now and showed like part of his license. What? Um, I'll tell you some of the things that I have enjoyed watching. I have enjoyed it, and I shouldn't, but I have. I have a twenty-year-old, a two-year-old. Hey, Mary, I've done that. My daughter was twenty when I was having my last daughter. My older daughter was, yeah, a hundred percent. Um, oh, was it my son? No, I'm my son. He's sixteen. I don't know. Uh, anyway, but yeah, I know. Believe me, I know. Uh, I've done it. It's it. It takes a a special person because I've been actively raising children under eighteen for thirty three years. Actively raising. Let me say it again. Actively raising children under eighteen for thirty three years. I'm fucking tired. 
Um, Sony Karma. Oh, at all. Um, and I love grandchildren because you can hold your grandchildren and they can poop, and you can look at your child and say your your child has shit. Here, take it. I used to I use when my grandsons were a little bitty. Hold, hold them, and they start crying, and I would hold them. I would literally hang them back. Your child's crying. That's the best part of grandchildren. Spoil them, send them home. They cry, send them to their mama. They poop right back to their mama. Bye, get them out of here. <laughs> That's it. I do two cents. I, I'd have had the grandchildren first if I'd have known. ATX doesn't realize I call her Judas Comp because of her. Well, Ricky, you, um, I don't even know how to say that. My name is Joe. I'm from Canada. Well, welcome, Joe, from Canada. Ricky, it's never anyone's fault when they're an asshole. Now, we'll go back to ATX and Sam. Bologna Eater and Salami Lucka. ATX being Salami Lucka. Um, you know, it's they can turn on people. They can dox people. They can uh, do all that. And um, it's never their fault. I, I, again, I've got air quotes. They got their shit into everything. Because, well, Sam, like, literally has nothing else to do. Um, when Tinky Yaya, uh, you know, is a bitch and a liar and a fucking doxer and a phone recorder it's never her fault if you'll if you check um witty weirdo when she's doxing and talking crazy that's never her fault izzy i love you i love you mama beth mama beth um when Yee Yaya, it's never her fault that she's done this. It's everybody else's fault. You're not going to join Hangout. You did this shit the other day. Go away. Go away, person. God damn it. I can't with you. Um, well, Stewie, um, <laughs> I will never comment on someone's weight. Well, I will if it was Katie because that was just fun and easy. that was easy. Um, Hi, baby. I don't know, honey. Hold on. My son's lost his phone in my massive bed here. Are you sure you had it in here? Uh huh. Oh, you said it's in there. Tell everybody you're having fun on vacation. Bye, uh, Sids. Thanks for showing up. I love you. I'm having fun, but I've been abused. You don't have any doubt about it. So. <laughs> <laughs> Did y'all hear that? He said he's having fun, but he's being abused because we have no thousand dollar dresses. That kid ain't right. That kid ain't right. Michelle, she's so dumb. She thought being on a boardroom panel made her. Oh, Lord. Everybody that I've been on a boardroom panel thought they were funny. Oh, worthy. I just don't like, um, you know, if I, and I, I'm trying to think if I do it. I hope I don't. Well, I'm not being a victim now, and I'm being an asshole, so <laughs> being a complete asshole right now, but I'm not the victim. Have I told you lately that I love you? You crack me up on your thoughts on certain numbers. Cindy, I love you too. I'm going to call you this week, Cindy. I promise I will. I need to check in on you. Oh, I wish all of y'all were here. Because if you were all here, well, one, we could put sunscreen on Savage. So, I mean, that would be a job in itself. Putting sunscreen on Savage, trying to keep her sprayed up, not to burn. We know she loves a sunburn. I'm back <laughs> on. It doesn't, that's what I'm saying. Beth, look, I'm the first one to say I am an old, fat bitch. Okay. <laughs> uh, yes, call me fat. Call me old. True, true, true. Call me an asshole. True. Call me a bitch. True. Call me crazy. 
probably true, but I am medicated. I do, but I own them. I love them. I just, no, baby, I, Quinny, I'm in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. I, I'm in Myrtle Beach, and last night, what did we do last? Oh, well, am I finished dogging people? Hold on. All right, Ricky, love you, really do. Um, I hope you're well, and know that we're on your side, okay? We're on your side. Um, you're unblocked here. You're always welcome. You have a friend in me. If I just overlook your Katie thing, <laughs> and I'm not even going to, you know, you love, we can't help who we love. That's what my grandma always tells me. Can't help who we love. Can't help it. Um, oh, well, Stoney, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Um, well, I heard that Katie did. Well, no, Cindy, because I I, I, I do just uh, adore you and like I, I want you to be OK. And I want this uh, I want this road uh, to healing to begin with you. And I want to be a part of it. I just want to know where you are, or, you know, on your road. Uh, Tinky Tonk Tonk, go live before 2 p.m. Because, oh. Tinky Tonk Tonk, if you go live, can you leave it up? Because I'm going to be by the pool for a lot of the day because it takes a lot of sun to um, tan all this fat. And so I want to be like one of them Jimmy Dean sausages and just sizzle in the sun and then come back. You know what I'm saying? So if you, Kelly Huff, you sweet, lovely thing. Good morning. How are you? Hello, Mike Vincent. I didn't see you come in and I'm so sorry. What was Pirate's question? I got to go back up. Um, hey, Nate's mom. You know, hey, 60s flower child, if y'all have already been here, I'm sorry that I haven't seen you. Um, there is no more boardroom, though, Michelle. There's no boardroom. It's a cubicle, like Mama Beth says. It's not a boardroom anymore. It's a cubicle. And right now, it's not even a cubicle. One of the one of the one of the walls fell over. It's not even a cubicle. Um, that shit is fake as fuck. We were real grown children, but yeah. Well, um, I hope you're doing well, Mike. I hope you're doing well, Nate. I hope everyone's doing well, if I didn't say that before. Tinky Tonk Tonk. Uh, well, Tinky was in the car yesterday doing her thing. What is the channel you were going to say that you really have been in? Ooh, Deborah, what was that? Did I say that? <laughs> Deborah, let me think. I have no idea, sweetheart. I don't need a surprise from you, darling, but thank you for thinking of me. But I have enough surprises. Door Rizzle. Artist extraordinaire. Gorgeous woman. She has it all. She's a triple threat, Door Rizzle is. A triple threat. No, you can't join Hangouts. But I want you to keep asking me because you sound like a fucking three-year-old. Grandma, 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 <laughs> grandma, grandma. That's why, but I'm used to it. I can tone you out right now. Is that a count? No, it, probably, it needs to go. Yeah, thank you, Pyro. It, it, he does that. I think he does it to everybody, but he loves coming in here and doing it. He'll be back in a minute with another one. Oh, I think somebody's knocking on my front door. I think. It's probably one of my grandchildren. I hope they have clothes on. My youngest grandchild, Killian. And I have a picture I'm going to put on Twitter of that Kellister took before, when they were on their way, right? And it's a picture of the three boys. My daughter has got these. They are bigger than Jackie O's. 
sunglasses. They are gigantic. And little Killian, the mob boss, loves them. And so it's a picture of all of them in the car, and he's got those damn huge glasses on. And he wore them all the way here. That's six hours that kid kept those things on. So I have to put that up because it cracks me up. He usually wears them to watch Jurassic World. I don't know. Um, oh, I know what I was going to mention. So when the big reveal came and that picture of Sean having... ATX and a headlock came out, which again, you know, if you know anything about royalty, the first official photo, you don't do that. You don't do that. You make it nice. You're sitting there, you know, you're doing this, you're doing that. You don't have it with somebody in a headlock. Well, that's me. And then the quote unquote queen of YouTube, which is uh, Tyrannosaurus Tex over there, T Tyrannosaurus Titty, was all over trying to cry. For a whole day. That bitch tried. She would look right up right. She would look up left. She would look to the sides. Shit bitch couldn't squeeze a tear out. If somebody punched her in her nose. And I'm not. I'm not. I don't think we need to do that. Well let me tell you something Trish. You need to queen of shit. Queen Elizabeth. Can I just say this. When she found out that Philip was mirandering around and philandering around London, she didn't go on film trying to cry. She adjusted her fucking tiara and took care of business. Okay? So, take a page out of Queen Elizabeth's book. Shut your fucking mouth, adjust your goddamn halo, smile for the camera, and keep your mouth shut. See, this is why all y'all are not, y'all, this is why you, you're not, you, you just, you just funky. Sean and Tarana, you know, whatever her name is, A-T-Y, A-R-C. Don't have your official photo of a man having you in a headlock and he looks like he ain't shaved in 12 days. Trish, don't say you're the queen and then try to cry for a whole day and waste everybody's damn time. They want to see you cry. I want to see you cry so hard that snot bubbles are coming out of your nose because your life is shit. That's what I want to see. When you're ready to do that, somebody let me know. But don't do the look to the left, look to the right, look up, look down, look up, that, to try to squeeze. At least, what, you know, where the camera's not showing, at least be pulling a hair or squeezing something or have a, have a fucking, you know, wrench on your toe or something that's going to make you cry. All right? Because you used to say that you couldn't cry because of your meds. Well, bitch, you ain't taking no meds now. Spirit! Love you. So, you're not taking your meds now, as you proudly say. Well, unless you're at the damn dentist and you're fucking uh, Pez dispensing, you know, Xanax. Um, so, now you're not on the meds. And you still can't cry. Something wrong with you. Something's wrong. If you can't cry, that means you don't care about nothing. You don't cry about yourself. You don't cry about your children. You don't try, cry about the husband that left you. Those, I mean, my children, my husband and me, they're the three things. Well, and my, let's just say family. You'll see snot bubble crying when I'm crying over my family. Or my, you know, my friends. You'll see me cry. And I don't make no bones about it. I've been on here crying before. Look it up. I'll be like Tammy Spirit looker. Look it up. Google it. I've been on here crying before. Um, bitch, don't. <laughs> you can't cry over nothing because you don't care about anything. Because there's something in your brain that is not connecting with 
react with whatever. And I'm not a doctor, but I play one on YouTube. And bitch, you fucked up. You fucked up. So there's that. I'm just saying, hey, Jelly Roll, who I'm talking about, uh, truth believe tricky. Ellie, la poof. La poof. I love saying that. Izzy, I hope you're doing well today. I'm getting ready to cut this short because the sun cries for me outside. Kim Fisher, I feel. It's, oh, Kim Fisher's always lurking. You're a dirty girl. And I don't have her blocked. So she can say something here, but I will block her ass when she comes up. Um, wait a minute. Mama Bat, are you meeting Savage tonight? Don't make me jealous. Do not make me jealous. I will not have it. No, I will. Thank you, Rainbow. Fucking fish is right. It's just like being, look, someone in the next chat called her truth, Toothfully Trish. <laughs> Mike Benson, I love that. We might have to do that. Toothfully Trisha. <laughs> Why did we never think of that? Why are we just now realizing somebody uh somebody beat us to that? You're meaning savage tonight, Mama Beth. I, okay, this is not right. I should be there. Fuck it, I'm getting in the car. Where y'all mean? Oh, uh, Savage, you're going to love Daniel. Daniel is like my, my new best friend. I just adore him. Um, let me see. Have I, has, have I bitched about everything? Witty Widow, check. Witty Weirdo, check. Uh, I'm going to steal that toothly, Trisha. Oh, thank you, Cindy Love, and I'm going to call you though. Look for me. Um, uh, we we touched on Kim Fisher a little bit, but does she really need anything? Doxing bitch, uh, crazy bitch. Oh, Kim Fisher also said she was concerned about my anger. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, Kim Fisher. And I've got Mama Beth in here right now, and I got people that have talked to me on the phone. But Mama Beth was right in my, you know, I mean, right in front of me. I am probably, and Mama, Be Mama Beth, <laughs> being a professional, can tell you, I am probably the, I am not angry. I am probably a very placid person. There's not, even when we discussed some of the, like, when we talk, when me and Mama Beth were together, we talked about, I'm going to say 15 to 20% YouTube and the rest like, you know, um, I am, I am a placid person, uh, roll, things roll off my back, you know, until they don't. <laughs> Still they don't. I'm over people having any room to talk about our anger. Bella. Bella. Right. Thank you. Why we're not angry. No, we're not. We're bad. If I am angry, you have hurt someone that I love. Or me. I mean, if I was a really angry person, I would have been online uh when Tammy Spirit Looker was going at me and that hey Allie, and that it just being disgusting. Which I didn't watch though. Just saying, I didn't watch it. Me and Devin sc uh, scrolled through the last that last one, and I saw enough. Shannon is not. No, I'm not an angry person. Yeah. Thank you, Mama Beth. I'm not angry. Um. I get angry. Don't get me wrong. Like I said on my Twitter, have I gotten on panels or have I started you live streams where I'm irate? Absolutely. Is that scary? Absolutely. 
I I am a human being. I get angry. Um, uh, I, I'm trying to think if I get more angry over shit said about me or my friends, and it's probably my friends. I don't. I can. I, I, but I might be wrong. And if y'all call me on it, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Because it's hard to remember what you get mad about. You know, I don't tend to hold on to that shit. Shannon is like me. We laugh and cut up, but we don't. Well, there you go. Even when I'm mad, it's funny. Until it's not. <laughs> no, but, so, yeah. Uh, and, you know, Bella Bel Morte has been attacked left, right, and center. She gets mad damn right. When people attack her left, right, and center, she don't get mad. That's anybody. So to be, you know, talk about her shit, no. No. Don't attack her and then turn around and talk about her anger. Uh, or any of us. Because we're going to react if, you know, if you're worth it. And a lot of times we look over a lot of things, a lot of shit. But no, you attack, we attack. You're not going to do that. I'm waiting on someone to roll up. Oh, my God, where oh, Well, you know what, LaPoop? Here's the deal with that. If someone were to roll up on Kim Fisher, they wouldn't fucking know who she was if she walked past them because that picture she has, it was taken about 50 years ago. Trust us. You wouldn't know her. You, she'd walk right by you if you rolled up on her. You wouldn't know who she was. And I ain't being mean. I'm telling the truth. And that's that. So, and I'll tell you, Bella Morte, when they called her, her people had every right to be online throwing shit. All right, Susan, you have a great day, my love. Thank you. I will have a great vacation. I love you. Um, she had every right to get, come online and I would have just, you'd have just seen me throwing shit around the day. You'd just see that th th there would be a screen and there would just be chairs and plates and plants just going, being slung. Um, uh, well, uh, yeah. If little, <laughs> I've seen, well, I've seen it when she didn't come up. And I'm not being mean, Chessar, thank you, babe. I'm not being me. I'm not being. Am I? Uh, uh, maybe I am being mean. Maybe I'm being mean. I don't know. I'll 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 just say I'm being mean. Um, the picture that she has on her profile that she won't change is has. I'm telling you right now, if she walked, she could walk straight up to you, kiss you in your mouth, and you wouldn't know who she was. And that's fine. You know, if that's uh, that's her daughter's her daughter took. Well, it went from her daughter's favorite picture to the daughter picture that her daughter took. To me, it looks like an old balsam. Um, uh, what is that balsam uh, shampoo ad from nineteen seventy something? I used to see them in magazines. What it looks like to me. But Kim, if you're not going to be honest about who you are and all that shit. Then don't come after anybody else. I'll be a mean as hell. <laughs> Mama Beth can be mean. I got angry about a YouTube for the first time recently. But it was when Bad Lodge were being told about Awesome Hooker, Spirit, Exact. Well, see, Spirit, this is it. You can lie about me a lot. Um, I, it happens. Whatever. But I get angrier when you fuck with my friends. That's when I get really angry. Because not that they can't defend themselves. Don't get me wrong. Not that they can't defend themselves. But, uh, you know, that's the thing that gets me really, really mad. Say what you want about me. I'm fat. Okay. Um, Guilty. You know, I'm an asshole. But guilty. Uh, whatever, but Stewie and Pirate said, oh, God, <laughs> I'm pregnant with Stewie, baby, Peachy King, I've got so much to do today, but I can't, put oh, Peachy, you sweet thing, thank you, I've got a lot to do today, too, because let me tell you what, it takes a lot of sun 
to uh, tan this ass. <laughs> I got to get some Crisco, go up there and, you know. Oh, no. Dewey's having another baby. There is a people type of. I like Awesome Hooker, too. You know, I try to like, and I think we all, all of us try to like everybody because you know what? That's name it after me, guys. Um, it, it, obviously funner when you like everybody. You have more friends. You have more fun stuff. Um, and so you try to like everybody, and then eventually they show, you know, their selves. So that's like with Lindy. I mean, I'm sorry, Lindy. God, stop being so mad can't take it. I can't take it. I mean, the sustained anger, sustained anger, and it doesn't matter. It's at Mallory, it's at Dave, it's at Becca, it's at that, at the that. And I mean, Dave and Becca, fine. But, um, and then I don't know what is going on with Mallory and Brown Eyed Girl. I don't know. I have to investigate this further. Um, I, I I really like Mallory. I really I love Brown Eye Girl, and I hope whatever beef's going on there, funner. Yes, it's funner. That's yes. <laughs> uh, I hope they get that. Um, thank you, run around. It takes so much energy to be mad. I just got, you know, I'm too lazy to be mad. For a long period of time, then I gotta take a nap. If I throw a fit, it is followed by a three hour nap. So, that is that. I don't know, Rainbow. I saw where Mallory said something on Twitter about she didn't threaten her or didn't do something. I don't know. I haven't really investigated it. I hope they, a lot of people are upset with Mallory. It's just her humor. Oh, she means no. Look, yeah. Wendy, I will agree with that. Mallory is an entertainer. I, that's the way I think of her. When she comes on live, she has a, she knows exactly where, she has a blueprint for where her stream's going to go. And if it starts to vary, you know, somebody comes up on panel and shit, hey, Sarah Pet Shell. If it starts to vary with the people on panel, she will get it right back. Um, you know, in there. I think you're funny. Oh, well, thank you, Alabella. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Brown eyed girl is funny. I know. I I I think they would be a dynamic duo. They need to just uh yeah. I thought you said Raymond. No, 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 no. I love them. Both, and I need them to uh, not be mad at each other because it makes me. Oh, it's God, it's not that dude. It's God, he didn't listen. Meeps, I don't know how my garden is doing. You know, it's been cursed by the King James Bible. Um, it has been cursed by the King James Bible for, for several times. And, um, I just hope that my voodoo spell and, um, you know, I peed around it and I did my voodoo. <laughs> I had to drink a lot of water and I peed all the way around it, spit in it twice and threw some salt in it. I think that should protect it from the King James Bible uh, curse. I don't know, though. King James Bible is only made so the king could get a divorce. Um, Yeah, you're talking about Henry VIII. Well, here's the thing I love about one of the things that King knows, Bob, I'll go on and mention. It's, it's one of my favorite things about it. Uh, it is that in, uh, was it, Lasivicus, Lavigory, uh, you know, one of them, Lavisicus, anyway. It's, that's where they mention nowhere in red. 
in any Bible does God say anything about homosexuals or Jesus. You know, in the you know words written in red. You know, there's not one mention of it. But in that lascivious <laughs> Leviticus, Leviticus. All right, it goes through some sin, right? Um, I think that's the one we're wearing two two different types of natural fibers is a sin. Uh, Mary, Mary, Mike, baby. It also talks about, I think, men laying with men, women laying with women. It also says you can't eat any shellfish, crustaceans. So technically, if you wear cotton with a with a linen, you know, with a linen shirt with a cotton short, you're going to hell. If you if men lay with men, you're going to hell. If you eat a shrimp, lobster, uh, crab, or crawfish, you're going to hell. Uh, that's all I'm saying. I love history. I think about it getting mixed up. I was thinking about the king who wanted. That's King, uh, yeah. Henry VIII, I'll give you a little thing. Wanted a divorce. The Vatican would not give him a divorce. He tried every which way he could. And the Pope was like, no, no, no. So Henry VIII said, you know what? Screw this. Excommunicated the, his entire reign of whatever. Created the Protestant, is it the Pro Church of England, basically. He raided and plundered every um, every Catholic church in England. His daughter killed a lot of Catholics that would not, um, who would not uh, renounce their religion and become Protestant. It was a mess. Also, he could marry Anne Boleyn, who he ended up cutting her head off anyway. Shrimp and ass on the weekend, Stewie. You know how I like to roll. Yeah, but she doesn't mention that because I saw her in Kroger when I was watching Tammy Tooth sober. She was like going, she was at Kroger pointing at shit, yeah? And uh, talking about crawdads, she loved them. Well, you going to hell, bitch. It's in your book. It's in your book. You're going to hell. And I've seen you wear two different types of fiber. All going to hell. So, it is almost 12 o'clock, you people. No, he didn't mean it. He, he beheaded uh, Anne Boleyn. He beheaded her, her cousin. He beheaded her cousin that he married. The first one he let live in a convent. Anne Boleyn, he beheaded. The second Get one when he got a painting of her they used to send little portraits around right and he saw it and he was like yeah okay i'll marry her they brought her and he did not like her at all he said i couldn't sleep with her he ended up giving her a lot of money a lot of land and she became a friend of the court the fourth one is the one that he loved the most she had his son and even in later portraits of him and his son and whatever, she's always like in the corner of it. Then uh, I think was the cousin that he had beheaded. Then I can go through if I got, anyway. And it was all about them. I've read the books. Um, yeah, Catherine Howard, there we go. She, he, he didn't let the, he didn't, yeah, he, let, he only killed two of them. And, and they happen to be Berlin, so go figure. Yeah, he loved Jane, uh, Jane C. He loved her. And because she is the one that also, when he, he kind of banished the two girls from Anne Boleyn and um, Cherry, it was a Teresa. All right, um, the first wife he banned, he didn't want, you know, he didn't know them. And she's the one that said, you bring them in here and you get to know them. So he, like, always, he always uh, credited her with getting his family together. All right, Quinny, I love you. I have to run two people. I've got some sun in to do. Um, 
Thank you for showing up on my rant. I'm just trying to make sense of all this because I see it on Twitter and I don't understand it. And now I have a better um, grasp on things. And uh, Yankee Tutu, if you go live today, please leave it up. Don't be a pussy punk ass and take it down. Because you're such a gangster. And yes, and go on and call me, call me racist for that. Do whatever you got to do, sweetheart. Um, I love you all. I'm going to tan up. I will talk to you later. I love you. I love you. I love you. Now, everybody go away. Go do something today. Get out. Get out.